Don't know how the wind is. Hope this is coming out all right. Beautiful warm day here. Look at the widow maker hanging there. Yeah. Well, I guess uh, the people have won a small victory against the federal government's usurpation of uh, public lands that belong to the states, rightfully. Um, seems the Bureau of Land Management has decided to back down for now in the Bundy, Bundy situation in Nevada. Good going people there, showing stiff, peaceful resistance, or passive resistance that is. I think it was anybody there was peaceful, but the passive resistance, it worked. All the cameras there, all the reporters there. There are questions about how this thing's going down and how it went down. I had to think about it a bit. I'm glad some of you militia didn't make it. Last thing you need to show up there for a bunch of guns at this time. But uh, it's good to know the threat was there. And they knew the threat was there. It would have been a trap, you know. Some of you people are itching for a big bloody showdown, I think. And that's part of the culture they're trying to push at you through the movie industries and such. Culture of violence. Well, in this situation, the ones doing the terrorizing and the violence were the Federal Bureau of Land Management. Not the people. So now we know who the real terrorist organization is in this country. The federal government which declares its citizens enemies of the state because they like to hang on to their private property because they manage to make a living from the land that they want. They want to take away from us for the sole purposes of exploiting it, exploiting its resources so that only a few would profit and benefit from it. Rich corporate elitists and their political cronies are the only ones that would benefit from what's going on there. People are being squeezed out. They want to force us into cities, take away our property, take away our rights. All to protect us, keep us safe, I suppose. Well, I'd just soon live dangerously than have the sense of security that they give me. Well, the winter sure killed a lot of vegetation. There's been some, a lot of rot in here. This place floods in the wet season when it really gets rainy but it's been so dry the last couple of years that it's just a dried out mess down here. These trees don't bud out till later in the season. The grass is starting to green up. All the rest of the place is greening up. I just felt like walking. This is one of my Little walking trails I like to take. Uh, hope the wind's not blowing down through here too much to mess up the microphone. I have other things I want to discuss. I'm going to start heading back now. Other things I want to discuss. YouTube. Google Plus. Bullcrap. You know those of us that put up produce these videos and put them up we don't we see things that you don't that 
don't upload videos you know like uh, we go to check out a video view comments on a video well I'll show you more info thing below here I'll put some links to what I'm talking about you know we Google Plus spams people they, they call you spam even if you're not spam half the comments I get I don't you know I don't get half the comments that the videos you know, or show up in my inbox I, I go see the video because I heard a comment someone did send a comment that got through and I'll go to respond, I'll go to that video to respond to that Google Plus response thing sometimes. And I'll uh, see several comments that I never got in my inbox, never received. Some will be marked as spam, so I won't see them unless I review the spam thing and push the button and review it. Lo and behold, there'll be people I've known on YouTube for years being called spam. I don't know why. You know, trolls get through. The ones that don't like the videos and want to criticize, they get their they get their comments through. I get them right off in my inbox. The haters seem to have a hotline to it. You know, they, they don't get marked out. And we all know there's government trolls in action out there. Some of them use some of the funniest names. You know, oftentimes they'll put out a lot of disinfo. Uh, but they won't have any pictures showing any faces or anything in their icons, just be a blank. And they'll have all sorts of videos up. You know, they'll upload three or four videos a day, 20, 40 minutes long. Hell, it took me almost two days to upload my last video, it was 15 minutes long. I don't even think it was that long. It took almost two days to upload that video. So these guys got some something special going on. Hey, I'll put a link to this and someone finding this out too. You know, a lot of these people have names of old actors like Gary Cooper or Gregory Peck. Of course it ain't that actor, it's just some troll shill working for the government disinfo agency. And the trolls, they never have anything on their page. Uh, you know, the about page. You just see uh, nothing there. <laughs> These people don't exist. Hell, they're probably all the same people. Three or four guys with about 20 different names. All they do is upload the videos they tell them to and they get direct uploads I mean straight to it straight to it they got probably got the best server in the country doing it for them you know NSA's got the best computer system out there right they're testing us they're playing us like mice in a maze and some of us can see the top of the maze what happens when the mice climbs out of the maze Depends on if they're watching, don't it? <laughs>